ons neem vanavond ontvangst van een waardevolle fragment van die Zuid-Afrikaanse geschiedenis. Mens sal eindelijk ons sê, die nieuwere Zuid-Afrikaanse geschiedenis, wat so bijna land uit gewaai het. As het nie was vir die onbadsichtigheid van een patriot en een alumnus van hierdie universiteit nie. Een landsvlag wat tijdens die geboorte van die nieuwe Zuid-Afrika gebruik is en waarop die handtekeningen van oud-president Nelson Mandela en sy twee adjuncte destijds, meneer Thabo Mbeki en F.W. de Klerk Prijk. Daar is een verhaal oor die geboorte van kinders in Afrika. En dit is dat, wanneer die kind geboren word, dan word die kind, moet die kind so in die licht hou, word om die son te sien, en so aan die wereld bekend gestel word. The idea is that when a child is born, that the child should be shown to the world, but should catch something of the sun on the first day of the child's life. And this is why it is so important. Because this was the first flag that caught the first sun in this beautiful country to remind us of our own rebirth. This flag is a national treasure. It belongs at home, and Stellenbosch is home to it. I'm very, very pleased that our beautiful rainbow flag that was flown on that historic day is back home where it belongs. And none of this would have happened if I wasn't made aware of the situation and the intended sale by Dr. Matthews Poser and Mr. Sharon Julian, who is here tonight. They called me in London and made me aware of what was going on. And it was fortuitous that the sale was through Bonhams, with whom we've had a long-standing relationship. And, you know, our mantra, our public uh, corporate mantra is always there. So therefore, by definition, in this instance, we had something to prove, and he managed to persuade Bonhams, uh, with a little bit of twisting and turning, um, that uh, this priceless item should be returned to the Republic and should be sold to the Stone Age Charitable Trust, and for it to be returned to the Department uh, of Arts and Culture. And I must say, I did find them to be very cooperative, but a little bit shocked to the public outcry that occurred. I now call on Ms. Bedusa, the Chief Operating Officer of the Ministry of Arts and Culture, to come forward for the ceremonial handing over of the Certificate of Authenticity. President Mandela called for justice and an enduring peace. And who can ever forget his pledge? That concluded this speech, and I quote, I, I wish I could say it like him, never, never, and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another and suffer the indignity of being the skunk of the world. Close quote. Let freedom reign. The sun shall never set on so glorious a human achievement. And he said, God bless Africa. Mandela's words inspired us and humanized us all and laid the foundations for our non-sexist and non-racial democracy. There was a, this was a victory against racism in the world, a victory against inequality, and the triumph of the human spirit and reconciliation. It is in this context, therefore, that as South Africans, we ought to be very clear that this flag is important to us and is part of our heritage and should be in our care as a testimony of our collective journey as South Africans and as a symbol of our triumph over oppression. It is with pleasure that the minister, on behalf of the minister, we are handing this flag to the University of Stellenbosch so that it can be displayed at this university gallery. <laughs> 